Hey, 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 it's me, Meatbag McMurka, Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. And today I want to talk about what is, in my opinion, the single most important issue of our day. Uh, it transcends all others. Uh, it's totally earth-shattering in its revelations, and uh, I think it'll rock the foundations of everything that we hold dear. And this, uh, this issue I'm talking about, of course, as you've probably already guessed, is uh, the Todd Rogers and Billy Mitchell controversy having their scores removed from classic gaming such as uh, Dragster and uh, Donkey Kong. Uh, I'm still I'm still getting over the initial shock of hearing that Todd Rogers has had his has had his world record taken away from him by the Guinness Book of World Records. This guy's a stand-up guy, and man, this guy, I gotta tell you, Todd Rogers, this this man is a legend in gaming, and uh, rightfully so. I mean, he has so many high scores. I mean, just high score after high score after high score, and they're all legitimate. Uh, believe me, they're all legitimate. He's he's just, he's such a good gamer. If In fact, one of his games they calculated it and they figured that in order to get the high score that he actually had, he'd have to stay awake for like 70 hours playing that game consecutively. Now, there's no pausing and there's no, uh, no pausing and, and no, uh, no, I guess, pee breaks. I guess you gotta take a piss in a can that's sitting next to you for 70 hours. No sleep, no food, because you're obviously not going to be able to eat if you got both hands occupied, so i got to hand my hat off to Todd Rogers, because that guy, that guy knows how to game. The other one is Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell, I, I love you, man. Uh, you are a legend in gaming as well, and uh, deserve everything, everything you get. And, you know, like my, okay, so my personal opinions on Billy Mitchell and uh, Todd Rogers are that, Todd Rogers, in, in, in his in his interviews, he seems like a pretty uh, a pretty reasonable guy, you know. Like like he's he's very personable. The thing he's most famous for his world record in a game for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred called Dragster. Dragster is like this game that like six hundred people bought or something, and uh, and so he has this world record of five point five one seconds. Which is, um, uh, there was a gamer called Omnigamer who basically demonstrated using spreadsheets, and I'm not going to get into it because, you know, I'm not, I, I've never played Dragster, so I, I can't verify or not verify, and I really don't care enough about it to, like, independently verify myself. But uh, when it comes to Dragster, there was a gamer named Omnigamer who sort of demonstrated that, that this whole thing was uh, sort of impossible, uh, getting a 5.51. In fact, uh, given the spreadsheet, it said that the best possible score is, what, a 5.57? And even Activision, who made the, uh, the, the Dragster game, they were surprised because their own internal like spreadsheet or whatever it is, their own internal formulas said that the best score theoretically possible is 5.54. So as I said, being a 5.51 seems somewhat uh, irrational. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. And in fact, uh, when, when he got that record, he basically got it by submitting a Polaroid, which is all that Activision required was a Polaroid of your, of your score and they'd log it in their thing. Um, so he submitted a Polaroid of the 5.51, and Activision uh, uh, put him on the on the records. Um, I'm not sure if they kept the initial Polaroid or whatever it was, but long story is, is that down the line there have been a number of people who've tried to figure out how you can get a 5.51, and even doing meme emulation and stuff like that, you can't get that 5.51. So the real question is, um, how do you... How do you do it? And and Todd Rogers had always explained it by saying that you like pop the clutch and you put it in second. You start off in second gear, and, and uh, so, like I said, I've never played it. But supposedly, according to players who have, 
uh, that's not possible. You can't start in second gear. It's not possible, even though that's what Todd Rogers said he had done. Um, now with Billy Mitchell, uh, Billy Mitchell has uh, a number of scores that were over a million uh, on Donkey Kong and on, on the arcade. And uh, he's got a number of videos that show a score over, over a million, but there was some analysis done on Donkey Kong forums, which they laid out the evidence showing that the game was made on a MAME, which is like a multi... Like, like basically it was like it was like just an emulator so he so he used an emulator and the emulators can be easily modified and stuff like that uh, to make it so so it wouldn't be like an arcade game where you couldn't do redos or you know when you goof up or something like that you can't make your you can't skip back a few steps like you can with uh, with an emulator and so yeah so it turns out that all of his all of his videos that were all everything that's over a million it, it appears is actually done on an emulator and he's never actually performed anything over a million in real life never never happened and so there was a movie called the king of kong the reason why i really care about billy mitchell is because there was a movie called the king of kong and this movie was it's a brilliant documentary uh, uh billy mitchell sort of is portrayed as the villain in this movie. Uh, it's about this man named Steve Wiebe who's trying to get the, the new world record. He becomes, he becomes injured or something, he can't work, and so past the time he plays Donkey Kong, it starts getting really good. And he, just, and he wanted to see what the world record was, and he ended up getting the world record and recording it on his camera at his home. But they demanded that, uh, that he come to the arcade and demonstrate the record, and he does. He actually flies all, he flies all the way from Washington State down to Florida. And in the course of this, you know, he, he ends up beating the record. And then as soon as he beats the record, like Billy Mitchell, who was the previous record holder, Billy Mitchell comes out and has this videotape. So Billy Mitchell presents this videotape, and they accept the videotape as in, incontrovertible evidence. Uh, even, even though they, they required that the Steve Wiebe guy uh, come down and, and perform it live, uh, when Billy Mitchell presents this tape, there's a, there's a number of, of uh, funny things that are happening in this tape, but they just say, well, Billy Mitchell's a stand-up guy, so we're going to allow we're gonna allow this and, and let, let him do it because we know Billy Mitchell. Now, Billy Mitchell and Twin Galaxies, uh, they go back a long ways. Uh, Billy Mitchell and the owner of Twin Galaxies. And Twin Galaxies is the company that the Guinness Book of World Records uses to determine high scores for video games. So Twin Galaxies um, uh, and Billy Mitchell go back a long ways. They're like Walter Day in this, in this you know, Walter Day, uh, who's the, the head referee of Twin Galaxies. I think he's the owner too. But Walter Day and Billy Mitchell are really good friends, and so uh, Billy Mitchell's integrity shall not be questioned. And if any of you people want to know what Billy Mitchell is like in, in real life, just look up a just go on on the YouTube's and do a search for something like Billy Mitchell interview, and that will give you everything you will need to know about Billy Mitchell and who he is and what his personality is. Billy Mitchell is a man who continuously gives himself pleasure through fellation. Uh, this man loves to think highly of himself. And uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, necessarily. But it's when, you know, it's okay to think highly of yourself, but not when it comes to the point of... Uh, being a jackass. <laughs> you know, there does have to be a certain level of humility when he says, I'm going to get this done because I'm Billy Mitchell, right? And, that, and that's, that's his reason why he's going to get something done is because he's Billy Mitchell. Like, you know that, that a guy's got kind of an ego problem. And Billy Mitchell took this, took this, this Donkey Kong thing um, way too far and, uh, you know, should have accepted the fact that he, that he had lost. And, and, uh, 
rather than submitting tapes that eventually, I mean years down the line, these tapes were demonstrated to be uh, done on an emulator and not on an, on an actual arcade. And the fact that Billy Mitchell has never actually demonstrated um, a high score on Donkey Kong above one million uh, in in person, apart from having like I, th I think the uh, the scores that were that were done live uh, with Billy Mitchell were observed by none other than Todd Rogers, who got the Impossible Game. Now Todd Rogers has since been uh, removed, as I said, from Twin Galaxies. Uh, like all of his scores have been wiped, and he's been banned for life banned for life from Twin Galaxies for, from ever competing. He actually used to be a Twin Galaxies referee. Um, but uh, there, there are people on the Donkey Kong forums uh, who've talked about being uh, working at Twin Galaxies and being uh, uh, unhappy with it primarily because they felt there was this old guard that uh, was sort of uh, working together to sort of make everything, you know, like make themselves the undisputed kings of all video games. I gotta say, like I believe in karma. I do believe that karma is real. And uh, if you have bad karma in your lifetime, it will come back to get you. And for a lot, of, for some people, for a lot of people, it actually comes back during their lifetimes. Like they actually get to experience the backlash of the things that they've done. Uh, for some people, it doesn't. But you know, I'm a I'm a Hindu. I do believe in reincarnation, and so. I do believe that that bad karma will eventually come back to you. I do believe in uh, reincarnation. So even if your bad karma doesn't come back to you in this lifetime, it'll come back to you in your next lifetime. And you're really going to want to wish that your bad karma comes back to you in this lifetime. Hopefully you can learn from something. And I really hope that, that Billy Mitchell and uh, Todd Rogers, who staked their entire their entire lives, their entire reputations on being the kings of these video games, when that's really all that they have, and they base their self-worth based upon it, um, and see themselves as, as gods among men, simply because they can go left and right and push a button. You know, I, I like video games just like, just like everybody else. I don't play them really, but I enjoy them. But being able to do this doesn't make you a god among men. I mean, it makes you good for pattern recognition and, and uh, you know, figuring out the system. But beyond that, it, it, all it means is that you have good hand-eye mind coordination. That's all it means. It doesn't mean you're a great person. It doesn't mean that you're spectacular or that you deserve any kind of praise. It just means that you're good at video games. When you value your whole self-worth based on your proficiency in video games and wanting to keep that reputation, it's like that you really don't have anything else to fall on. Yeah, sure, uh, Billy Mitchell sells hot sauces, but he sells hot sauces on the premise of, I'm a video game champion, therefore buy my hot sauce. That's really sort of his claim to fame, and he's incredibly full of himself. Uh, there's actually an, an interview where he, was, where he was, in the press release, he did a press release where he announced that he got the world record for Donkey Kong, followed by the world record for Donkey Kong Jr., uh, and at the end, there's, was, what's his name, uh, Mr. Awesome or something? Mr. Awesome came <laughs> and was questioning him, saying that, hey, you know, if, uh, if, if you were going to be doing this, why weren't you, why, why didn't you announce that you were going to be doing this rather than just doing it and then, and then having a press conference? Like, if you were planning on doing this, why didn't you tell people first, you know, rather than just doing it and then having a, Having a press conference afterwards showing that you were you got the championship or you got the world record of Donkey Kong followed by the world record of Donkey Kong Jr. right after that. You know, it's like, why wouldn't you announce that? I mean, people would like to see that, wouldn't they? But, uh, of course, nobody was there to see it because he's Billy Mitchell and he is, uh, his integrity shall not be questioned. So that's about it. Um, like I said, it's totally earth-shattering. Uh, my... My, my world has totally been flipped upside down, and even now his Pac-Man, like, like the story of him being the first guy to get a perfect game of Pac-Man is now coming into question. Uh, he's, a, he, he, he's a real piece of work. Uh, Todd Rogers is a real piece of work. And, and uh, 
you know, I I don't really want to wish ill on people, but I do want to see their the things that they have done. I do want to see people actually experience the repercussions and the after effects of what they've done in their lifetime. Because there's a certain amount of justice associated with that. Uh, now, now with the Billy Mitchell thing, there may be some good, decent explanation, um, but I, I don't see it. And Billy Mitchell was supposed to go on uh, uh, Artie Lang's show or something. What was it yesterday? I guess because to, today's a. Uh, it's already February eighth, so he was supposed to go on February seventh on Artie Lang's show. I haven't seen anything about that. Nothing on YouTube or. Um, Anything on there on the on the website? I can't remember what what the dot com was, but it's the Artie it's the Artie and Anthony show or something. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen anything. He's supposed to make some kind of explanation, but I haven't seen it. Um, if anybody knows where it's at, you know, let me, give me a heads up. I'd like to see it. But uh, it seems to me like Billy Mitchell is kind of uh, Billy Mitchell and and Todd Rogers, man. Those guys are they're done. Totally done. Well, that's it. Thanks. And vote for me for governor in Utah. Pirate Party candidate. Meatbag McMurka.